Hi everyone, welcome to this week's vlog. It is actually Wednesday already today because um, Monday we were coming back from my dad's and also it was the funeral of the Queen so I didn't do any vlogging. On Tuesday, which was yesterday, I did plan to vlog but I was working in the morning and then I was supposed to have a telephone appointment with the estate agent and they emailed me and said that they couldn't make it so I actually was really annoyed. Um, I'm a bit of a stickler for good communication and it just really wound me up because we'd made this appointment like a couple of weeks ago and their excuse for cancelling it wasn't acceptable in my opinion and anyway I managed to speak to them this morning it's Wednesday now so everything's fine but yeah I was just in a bit of a fun I think I was a bit tired as well actually so I didn't do any vlogging but anyway back now with a weekly vlog and um, yeah, I'll show you what I'm eating and what we get up to. The weather's absolutely glorious today, which is a nice surprise. And um, yeah, I've been eating some yummy food, so I'll show you that. We've got gusto this week. I think this will be the last gusto that we get. And then next week, I will try and do some like frugal recipes. I really want to try and get the slow cooker going. Um, so I'll show you those next week. And Thank you for watching my frugal tips video. There'll be another one, at least another one will have gone up actually by the time you see this. So thank you for watching those and for all the comments, it's really kind. So yeah, here's Wednesday. For breakfast today, I had some scrambled eggs, some mushrooms, and then I air fried some courgette and some baby potatoes that come from a tin. And I just put some salt, pepper and paprika over them. It's really yummy actually, made a change. Then I went to my osteopath appointment, which went really well. And after that, we decided to go to Slapton Sands and have a walk. And we also took a picnic lunch with us. The weather's been absolutely gorgeous today. It was like summer again. And for lunch, I had one of the thins with some tuna and rocket in it. And I had a pom packet of pom bears and an orange as well. And we, I was very pleased because on the way back we were right on the front of the ferry, which doesn't happen very often, but it means that you get a really nice view going across. And the train came along as well, so that pleased me a lot. So we're a much better day on Wednesday, all in all. It's Thursday now, and this is my breakfast. We're actually going out today, so um, I'm going to show you this breakfast and then my lunch. So I've got a chickpea flour pancake... Lots of fruit, lots of seeds, some ground almonds, some yoghurt and some peanut butter. Really yummy and really filling. This is going to be my lunch for today. I've got a thin with some rocket, some sweet chilli sauce and these butter bean and edamame like patty things that I made a while ago. And I've actually got two of these to have but the other one I've already put um, in the box so... I just left that one out to show you, I'll wrap it up in a minute. Then to go with them, I've got some sliced tomato, which I'll put in later because I don't want them to go soggy. Carrot sticks, an apple, and a little pot which has got some nuts and the seeds in there and some raisins. We are here up on Dartmoor at a place called Newbridge on the River Dart. It's about quarter to 11, I think, and we're gonna head off for walk number one of two today which is just going to be along the river. really lovely and on this part of the walk very quiet you can just hear the birds singing and the river in the background and there's some amazing trees as well which I love to see and some signs of autumn as well but it's pretty nice today to be fair we are on walk number two now we're right up on 
on the top of Dartmoor now. You can probably see behind me. It's a really lovely view. And we're just going to, this is a kind of a there and back walk just along the top basically. We've just had our lunch, very nice it was too. Yeah, and the, it's clouding over a bit, but I think we're going to be all right. The sun's just peeping through. Just come across these Dartmoor ponies. So cute. You often see um, the Dartmoor ponies up here on Dartmoor. We went right up onto the top of the tour and I was thinking to myself there must be some letterboxes around here and I spotted one. Letterboxes are a thing on Dartmoor where people leave a plastic box and inside is usually a stamp and a notepad or some pens and you can leave, you can read other people's messages and leave the people that have left it a message. There's a book as well which gives you the like map coordinates for where all the letterboxes are hidden and it's a really fun thing to do in my opinion. It's like the old fashioned version of geocaching. After that we stopped off at a really cute little cafe and we had peppermint tea, Martin had ordinary tea and we shared a piece of vegan chocolate cake. It was very nice actually. Hi everyone, it's Friday now and you may notice that I'm wearing exactly the same hoodie that I had on yesterday but it wasn't dirty so there's no point in washing it so I just thought I'd wear it again today. Um, yes, Friday. So yeah, we had a lovely day yesterday and I had soup for my dinner. I'm loving soup at the moment, so cheap and quick and warming and whatever so that was very nice. I had the same breakfast today that I had yesterday which was the chickpea pancake with the yoghurt and the fruit and all the, the seeds and everything over it so again that was very nice but I didn't record it because it would just be a bit too repetitive. Um, today I am working this morning so I'm not going to film all that and then this afternoon we're actually going to the cinema. I can't remember what the film is called that we're going to watch. It's the one with George Clooney and Julia Roberts so hopefully it will be good. We don't go to the cinema very often. We don't pay for our cinema tickets. We never pay to go to the cinema. We get free tickets with um, a bank account that Martin opened a while ago and I'll talk more about that on my frugal tips video. I'm not sure which one because they're a bit random but in the, at some point in the future but yeah we are going to the cinema this afternoon. Um, I'm hoping to hear something from the estate agent at some point either today or Monday. We have dropped the price of our house so fingers crossed something might happen but of course I will let you know if anything occurs. Um, my back is actually doing really well which I'm so pleased about because it means I can up my exercise a bit. I did two walks yesterday and they did include a few hills which I've really struggled with recently. So this osteopath is working wonders and the treatment that she did for me on Wednesday was brilliant and I've got exercises to do and I have to use ice packs but it really seems to be working. I'm not on any painkillers anymore, which is amazing. I'm so happy about that. So yeah, hopefully I can up my exercise a bit more. And um, that will obviously help with my diet. Um, I'm doing okay with the intuitive eating. I need to read that book really that I got a little while ago. I will start that soon. Um, but... I'm not, I don't think I've lost any weight again this month, to be honest. I haven't weighed myself, but I, you can tell, can't you, with your clothes and that. I don't think I've put any on either, which it is, will be a great thing, to be fair. Um, yeah, and I'm doing okay. I, I'm not going to lie. I am s not stressed, but I am really frustrated about the house, which does make me want to eat. And I think I have overeaten a few times, especially when we were away enjoying a few too many treats, had some cake yesterday which again wasn't the best thing ever but it's fine, nothing is um, completely banned with intuitive eating. But now that I can start to do a bit more exercise I think that's going to really really help me. I will do a proper weigh-in update on like, when will it be? It's going to be next week sometimes because that will be the end of September. Um, and the most exciting thing is Strictly is starting, isn't it, today? Strictly Come Dancing. I do love that. So I'll be watching that when I get back from the cinema this afternoon. I hope everyone else is well. And I'll show you what we have for lunch. And 
I will catch up with you again later. This was the Gusto lunch. It was cod and then the rice was like a Thai red curry rice. And then there was like a little carrot salad thing with lots of coriander, mint and chilli and it was yum. The cinema was really good. When I got back, I just had some toast and marmite, a couple of oat cakes with peanut butter, some carrot, no not carrot, cucumber and orange. Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning now. Excuse the state of me, I've got a few things to do and then I'm going to go out this afternoon and meet my friend for a walk. So I'm going to have a shower in a little while, so I've still got all my warm clothes on, all my layers. This is a, a fleecy one and then another thermal one underneath so yeah I'm nice and warm even though it's got a little bit colder still quite bright though today so for my breakfast this morning I had a crumpet with some peanut butter and seeds fruit yogurt and some chia seeds I just wanted to share a little tip about um seeds I buy them in a bigger pack as I can afford because the bigger the pack you, the, you buy the cheaper they tend to be I actually find Aldi really good for seeds um, and nuts as well but what I do when because I buy quite a big pack is I put them into smaller jars and then the big pack I actually keep in the freezer and I just get a small amount out whenever I need it they freeze really well even things like um ground flaxseed freezes brilliantly and then it means that you know you don't waste any of it so that is a little tip that i've got just some little jars or, or tupperwares or whatever you want and then put the rest of it into the freezer i've got to put the oven on today and for the gusto lunch and i don't want to kind of waste just cooking one thing in the oven so I had a quite a few veg actually that I know we're not going to use over the weekend. So I've prepared them and I'm going to do them roasted in the oven. So I'll show you there. So I've got carrots, courgette, pepper and that's it. Yeah, two kinds of pepper. And then I've got oregano, paprika, some oil, salt and pepper and I shall roast them. And then, you know, they can be popped into the freezer you could use them for so many things you know you can mix them through pasta with a bit of tomato sauce a bit of cheese on the top really cheap yummy filling warming meal you could do a veggie lasagna you could add them to curries you could blend them up into a soup um, there's so many things but Again, another thing that I do is I do not throw anything away. If, if I know I'm not going to use it, I'll cook it. Or, and what I've done here, is I also had a load of courgette and carrot that I know I'm not going to use. So I've done four bags. Um, and I just grated the courgette and grated the carrot. And these are brilliant. Pop, you don't even need to cook it. Pop it in the freezer. And then you've got... You can just take it out of the freezer and, and throw, you know, leave it frozen. Pop it in when you're cooking either mints. It bulks out mints really well. Or even if you're using like corn or vegetarian mints, it's brilliant. You can pop it into the slow cooker if you're doing a stew, pasta sauces, chilies, anything like that. It just bulks it out and makes it go further. And obviously it's not good to waste food anyway. Um, you know, it, it's a waste of money and it's not good, um, you know, anyway. Um, but yeah, just grate it and pop it in the freezer and I'll definitely be using that next week. So there's another little tip. Here's today's gusto meal. It's an onion bhaji and mango coconut salad with chickpeas. Looks yummy and smells divine. I'm just off out for my walk now, so I thought I'd end the vlog here. That lunch was really yummy, and I've got some of the chickpeas and a bit of the salad and that left over, so I'm just going to have it in a pita bread, I think, for my dinner. So, yeah, the gusto portions are really good. I think that's probably the last gusto that we're going to have. Oh, no, I've got one more meal for tomorrow, um, but I think probably that's the end of all the codes and the discounts and I certainly can't afford to buy it when it's full price but it's been great whilst it lasted and if you don't want to get the actual box delivered they've got some really nice recipes um, if you go on their website there's a section called cookbook 
and the recipes are lovely really nice I highly recommend it anyway I'm going to finish the vlog now because I'm off out to see my friend Stacy. we're going to go for a walk and I will catch up with you all next week thank you so much for watching take care and have a lovely Sunday tomorrow bye